Affinity Photo 2 has got a great new feature for raw files. What you can do, you can open as well as place raw files and still keep it live. Any changes within the develop persona are all live. Let's just go to it, file and open. Now I haven't got any raw files. I've got no raw ca camera that creates raw files. So I had to convert a JPEG to DNG. How did I do that? I use Adobe Lightroom. Well, I'm certain there are also other tools that you can convert files to the DNG format or probably other formats as well. Just have to look around on the web for that. And I'm gonna select this file, DNG. Click open. So I've got this file. What I can now do, I can go to the basic, tones, details, lens, and you can see straight away I'm in the develop persona. Now I'm gonna go with linked option. You could go with embedded. Obviously the file size is gonna be greater. Linked, I'm happier with. Happier with that one, but you can try it also with pixel layer as well. But raw layer, going with that, and you can see all the details there. It tells you 32, raw, Canon, all the various information. You can see, obviously, it's not a great camera. <laughs> Picture as well. But you can modify this. Weirdly, I don't know why it doesn't come with a few more presets. But still, let's just change a few settings. So let's just go for exposure. Just change that. Contrast. Maybe change. Let's go for details. I've got luminous details and lens. Just change distortion. It just create distortion. I'm just going to create a few things. Obviously, how you modify this image will vary obviously what you want to create. This is not a tutorial about the use of the develop persona. Click develop. Once you've done that, you can see now, unfortunately, and I don't know why, they haven't indicated here that it's basically a live effect. There's no information on there about this being live, which is very odd. And of course, you can still continue to modify it. You can go over here, maybe go with filters. So filters, distort and deform. Now, if you go and do this, let's just modify a bit here, tweak things, change things, click apply. Now, at any point, if I select here, move tool, I've got this selected, it's a DNG. I've lost that. I've lost that feature to be able to go into the live develop. Now I can click up here, but if I undo that, let's just undo that, go back to what was before. Every time you go to move tool, you'll see at the top this develop image. So if you use a filter, you lose that. Be aware of that. But of course, the great thing about Finity Photo is you can go to layer and you've got all these adjustments. So if you want to, you can modify the curves. Let's just go for curves. Just tweak that, change that bit, make it darker and close it. Apply some other effects. I'm not going to, but you could apply other ones. Lots of different options here, masks, etc. All live. At any point, you can still see you've got the option when you select that layer, and that's the key thing, select the layer, not this layer, but this layer. You can develop image. It's still available. You can also, if you wish, go for replace image. So click there and then select something else. Don't have to keep it. Let's just move that out of the way. As always, whenever you do anything like that, something blocks it, click open. And it will take a few seconds and then you've got your image there and it's applied exactly the same live effect to that image. As well as, of course, still keeping the layer here, which is very useful. And you can still go here, select it, develop image. Click there again, still live, so you can turn around and say, oh, you know what? I didn't mean to do that because of course the image is different now. I can change that. So let's just go that way. But maybe the image you want to modify in different ways. Obviously there's lots of other settings here, curves. You can tweak that here as well. Go for master, go for red. Let's just change the red there. Of course, depends on the image. I'm just going with it just as a random examples of changes. Again, once I'm happy with it, I could cancel, of course, but also I'm just going to develop, go for develop. So click there, and now I can continue to modify it. Again, at any point, I think, you know what? 
select there. Again, develop image. I can go and edit it a bit more. Or replace image, click there. And because I want to return it to that one, click open and then restores it back to that original image. And you can see the image there. And obviously it's <laughs> just slightly different and unusual. But you can see it's still live. But you can also use it with place. So just go here to file and you've got place. File and place. So I'm just going to go there and I'm going to select, let's go for this one, another DNG file. Raw. Takes a few seconds to process. Place images. And just click. And you can see the file there. And again, that placed develop image. So at any point, just click there. And now you can edit it, you can modify it. I'm gonna go with change that, luminance. Let's go for contrast, change that. Maybe go that way. Profiles, got a whole range of different options. Curves, black and white, let's just go for that. Maybe you decide you want it in black and white. Tweak the blue, tweak the cyan. And I think that's reasonable. Click develop. And there you have it. You've got your layer, which is still again live. Again, sadly, it doesn't indicate that it's a raw image or that it's can be, it's had some develop added to it. It would be nice. I don't know why, if you've got this live effect, because you've got these, these are live, this one's alive, but for some weird reason, this doesn't indicate that it's got any changes to it, which is odd, unless I am missing something on that. But again, at any point, develop image, and of course with place, you can still go there, replace image. So let's say, let's change mine, click open there, if it lets me, yes, it's gonna do it, and you've got obviously another image, and then of course it makes it black and white, which of course is the develop persona added to it. And again, I can still go and edit it and change it yet again. So that's a new feature of Affinity Photo. I think it's a great feature, very useful. It's a pity that it doesn't allow you to use any image as with this and have it live. I don't know why it just seems to be raw. It is a pity, but that's the way it is. A very important thing, how to save it. Well, you can save it via file and just go down to save as. Of course, you can also save the history as well, but save as. Now you'll notice I've already saved it, but I wanted to point this out and I'm saving it to the same folder. So save, and it saves it to an AF photo format. So replace. Now I can close it. So just close that. And then I can go to file, See, maybe a couple of months later, file open recent, obviously it wouldn't be in there by that time, but select the file and you can see it again, exactly the same as before, it is still live. So you can go to this layer, go to the move tool, make sure you do that and then click develop image. And then you can tweak it, turn around and say, I don't want black and white anymore. So deselect that and you can see now you've got color, go to the curves and you can tweak say the red do all the changes, click develop, and then of course you can save it again. Go up to file and save, and it's saved away, and you can continue to work with it at a later time. Please let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions, please put those in there. Thank you much.